Hey dude, at this time remove the California Games program disc from the DF0 colon and replace it with the data disc. <laughs> Welcome back to another episode of Let's Play 1001 Games. I'm your host, Gaming J, and today we are checking out a summertime classic, California Freaking Games by Epix. These were the fellows who created Summer and Winter Games. Summer Games was one of the first games I tried to play, I think Summer Games 2, and I had an abysmal time with it. I attribute it partly to the difficulty in playing old games and the extreme long load time um, of a game on the Commodore 64. I've since actually figured out the Commodore 64 quite a bit better. Maybe I should go give that game a second shot. I don't know. I, I don't remember the games being particularly amazing, but maybe I should give it a second shot. Okay, let's actually get started here. So California Games here is much like Summer Games and Winter Games, and there's a series of events you get to pick from. I am going to... you know what? There's a, a, a bunch of different events. In fact, I think we can see them if we select this. Yeah, look at that, actually. Enter your name. My name is Jay. Jay, pick your event. Oh, select your team. So I guess we can be sponsored by Kawasaki or Ocean Pacific. Costa Del Mar, let's go with the sunglasses people, because I like the cut of their jibs. There is no player two, we'll call uh, player two the J clone. There shouldn't be a second player, but I don't know if you can play this game to one player. Okay, it's, it's making me enter in a lot of competitors. Uh, this is uh, Team Go, they will be with the OPs. Uh, team 4, names are getting very creative now with Santa Cruz. Oh my god, how many different teams are there? Enter your name. Um, Boo Boo. Boo Boo will be with the Spin Jammers. Jesus, how many different names do we have to enter here? Uh, Greg. And he'll be with Max Out. Oh my god, more. Tiff. Tiff will be with Casio. I wonder if we made them just all sponsored by the same team. Oh my god, how many different names do we need here? Marcus. With a K. Right now. Okay. Sure, that looks about correct. <laughs> What a, what a star-studded lineup. We have J, J Clone, Team Go, Team 4, Boo Boo, Greg, Tiff, and Marcus. Looks correct. Now, there are these different events here. We're going to be trying each of them, because why the heck not? Let's go ahead and start off simply with the halfpipe. What is more Californian than skateboarding? The next event is the halfpipe. And here we are, halfpiping in good old Hollywood. Whoa! Okay, so I guess we want to build up speed. Game over? What? Okay, well, Jay sucks at this. Let's see how Jay clone does. He falls. Kick can't turn backwards. Okay. Next, we got Jay clone again. And he fell again. Okay, this is now bringing back flashbacks of Summer Games 2. Oh my god. Okay, I, I, I clearly don't know what I'm doing here. Do I have to hold right or left? Okay, the first time I did this, I turned around several times and got points. If you just leave him, he kind of does his own thing. Okay, so if I don't press anything, he doesn't die, but he gets a very quick game over. And what the heck? Okay. I, I, I've I seen people play this, and I've seen them like get up to the half pipe and do like twirls and spins and stuff. Literally can't figure this game out for the life of me. This is this is just terribly embarrassing. Now, I was going to say California was like this magical place when I was a kid where like all the movies were filmed and I definitely wanted to go there and skateboarding was like the coolest thing I can imagine. Seriously, how how are you supposed to control this? This this doesn't make any sense. Uh You know the thing I hate, I absolutely hate about a lot of these old games is the controls are just so not intuitive. It doesn't make any sense. I'm pressing left and right, and he literally just falls off the board randomly. I don't know how I happened to turn around that one time. Oh, I did it again. No idea how I did that. Okay, I kind of pressed left and down. Maybe that's what I have to do? Nope. Okay. Nope. I I'm just, like, skipping through this. Like, okay, let, let these teams fail. Oh, my God. That was, like, the most embarrassing skateboard show ever. Everyone in the audience is probably just like, these guys have never skateboarded in their life. They're just literally falling. 
Tony Hawk would be disappointed in me. Somehow Jay still got first place. I guess he got like two twirls before he absolutely failed. What the? Okay, I definitely have to go look up instructions for this. The raddest dude was Jay. A maxed out high score of 380 points. I don't think that's maxed out because there's a lot of leading zeros I see there. The previous dude was no one with a score of zero, so I guess that's something. Uh, let's just go ahead. Let's give that a second try. I did go look up some instructions, and apparently you're supposed to press up and down. Up when you're kind of going up the ramp, and down when you're going down to build up speed. So let's give that a shot. Oh, there we go. There we go. And I fell. You know, I think one thing that definitely modern games do that these old games don't is their... Oh, he took a skateboard to the knees didn't turn in time, is that they kind of teach <clears throat> through gameplay a lot more. These old games, a lot of the times, like, if you didn't go read the manual, you would just never know what to do. And, oh, there we go. Okay, well, I did Ow. something. Ow! Took, took a skateboard to the knee. I feel like a lot of the maybe old games, they kind of had like a really computer programmer mentality where they're like, well, you just read the instructions, it will tell you what to do. Oh, I thought he was gonna take that up the butt. Um, but like, you know, you look at like modern games and they recognize that nobody wants to read instructions. Like, why would somebody actually want to read instructions? They'd rather just start playing the game and have the game kind of explain it to them as they went. So these old games are pretty unforgiving in that respect. I literally can't get a single turnaround. I mean, I can go up and down quite a bit more. Which, okay, that's like fun. Woo, he slid off his board. Jeez. To start a kickstern. Okay. The instructions are very vague. It's like to do a turn, just follow the diagram above. And I, I, I guess I literally can't do it. I suck at California games, apparently. Which actually, you know what? Here, here's a side question. What the hell are California games? You know, summer games and winter games are supposed to be like Olympic things. Whoa, he's like going off the screen, he's going so high. Do we get points just for going like really high? Didn't turn in time. What are you talking about? I just, I pressed left when I was way up in the sky and it, oh my God. I, I seriously don't know how I made a turn that one time. Do, I, do you have to press like all the directions? No, nope. he just falls right off. Okay, so clearly I suck at half pipe. I think we should move on. Um, we'll just sort of let this carry out because Boo Boo. Boo Boo's never quite quit at anything in his life. He's not going to start with California games. Oh, that shattered a knee. The velocity with which the skateboard hit him there. Anyway, California was always this magical place when I was a kid, and I always kind of dreamed about living there. I actually did live there briefly as an adult, and I really like California. I. I really wish it was kind of on the East Coast because that's where all my friends and family are. So like I can't really live in California. I couldn't move out there because I don't really know anyone and you know just I just don't want to live a life like that but it is a bit of a shame. Oh man I can't get a single turn in. What the F? This is like really really frustratingly bad controls. And you know what I know that probably some people out there are like oh Jay you're so stupid you just press this or this button and it's like okay you know, if you know how to play any game, any game is easy, but, you know, for any new beginner coming to check out this game who's never played this before, there's a steep learning curve, let me tell you. Like, when you can't even do a single turn, like, what is it, what is it failing me for? Like, okay, I almost did a turn there. You see, he, oh, and he took a skateboard to the head there. I started a turn, but, like, what am I supposed to do? Un freaking believable i don't know what do you guys this brings up an interesting question like whose fault is this is this mine for not having spent an afternoon practicing this um or is this could you legitimate legitimately say the game designers here didn't make the controls intuitive or easy enough i don't know um i mean obviously i'm gonna defend it and say that uh, that game is just really hard I'm sure I'm sure you can get good at it. I'm sure it ends up being uh, my clone beat me. Wow Just t ends up taking a lot of skill, but whew, For for a new gamer who's never played this before that is a confusing mess of failure Let's hope that the other games are a little easier um, So this is kind of what I encountered with summer games too where 
the event, literally I couldn't figure out the correct button mashes to get anything to work. And it's kind of confusing when you think about it. There's only a couple of buttons, left, right, up, down, and like a fire button. How How is it with so few buttons that it's not sort of obvious how to actually play the game? It doesn't make sense. Like, what were they looking for there? What pattern of buttons? I just don't get it. I, I, I mean, I clearly don't get it. Um, but okay, let's try Footbag. Interesting bit of trivia. The programmer who programmed Footbag, guess what he ended up doing? He ended up inventing DirectX, or the technology behind DirectX. So if you know what DirectX is, it's the graphical and video drivers that Microsoft used to basically bring gaming to Windows. And it's, I believe, still used today. But yeah, literally the guy who made Footbag, which we're about to try out, um, designed it. And right now you're being treated to one of uh, one of the long, pure black loading screens um, of these old Amiga games. So here we go. Press the button to start. Oh my god. Are we going to be able to figure this out or not? Okay, there's a... Uh, we can turn them around. Boom. Okay. Here we go. This seems a little a little easier. If I can just... Ugh. Okay, I can't... I can kick it in the air, but I literally can't get that extra step. Oh, there we go. There we go. Yes. Oh, come on. Come on. Come on. Yes. Time it just right. Okay. Here we go. Two. Oh, I don't know. Okay, sometimes he tries to like hit it with his head and sometimes his feet. I don't understand why he's switching between them. I'm, I'm not doing anything different. Okay, can we like twirl around? <laughs> like, <laughs> it's like hitting it from behind. Ooh, there we go. There's an action shot. Ooh, we got two, three. We're crushing it. Four, five. Okay, this. See, I can at least understand this game. I may not be that good at it, but I get it. Ooh, I did a horseshoe. Let's twirl around. Twirl around. Ah, oh, it's it's actually surprisingly easier to hit it when it's behind you than when it's in front of you. So we go, oh. <laughs> I like how they have like seagulls. They're like, well, we need something. I don't know. Put Alcatraz in the background. Have like seagulls flapping around. What? Oh, I just ran out of time. So here's here's the breakdown of my score. The very scientific way of breaking down what I just did. I got one five in a row, one half axle, and two horseshoes. I want a Dizzy Dean. Okay, J-Clone. J-Clone's got this, people. Boom. Boom! Oh, come on, I trolled around twice. That's gotta be something. Ooh. Okay, see, now, this is a game that you can actually uh, figure out and play, unlike the half pipe. I don't know what, what my failing was with the half pipe. I don't know. I'm sure some of you guys watching this have played this before, and you're like, you idiot! All you do in the half pipe is you press this, it's so easy! Go ahead and let me know in the comments down below. I mean, I, I'm very curious what I was actually doing wrong. And, you know, if you know, go ahead and tell me. Uh, I, oh, I've i I've lost the ball. Now what happens? Oh, so did did somebody, like, off, off screen just throw it back to me? That's interesting. So let's get it going this way. Boom. Oh, it went off my head. Ooh. Oh. Yeah. See, I, I don't know how you make him hit his head or not. He has, like, very feminine legs. Look, it looks like he has high heels on. Okay, J-Clone J needs to be focused on the score. I'm actually doing okay here. I, I'm stuck in this corner, and I don't know how to get out. <laughs> very, very confusing for this guy here. There's a Golden Gate Bridge in the background. Seen that before. And Alcatraz. If anyone ever goes to San Francisco, Alcatraz is actually pretty neat. I let you walk around the island, go into the prison cells. You really can explore your own pace. You don't have to be part of a tour group, actually. It's kind of interesting. You just go to the park and walk wherever the heck you want. Oh my god, J-Clone destroyed me. One five in a row, four half axles, one axle folly, and one horseshoe. This reminds me of those like Tony Hawk skateboarding games where the games were less about staying on the skateboard. It was a lot easier to stay on the skateboard than stay in that half pipe game, but the real points came from doing tricks. And actually, you know what, I, I I probably bet that this game had some kind of influence on the Tony Hawk games. Oh, I hit a seagull, what does that do? 
What? I thought they were just for show. How many times have you seen people in California like attack seagulls with their hacky sacks? Also, what was this called? Foot bag? Is the name hacky sack? Okay, I always knew this is like hacky sack. Is that what you guys knew? This has this like kicking a little bean bag thing around. It's those seagulls remind me of the alien ships and space invaders. Maybe I should just wait for them. Maybe that's where the real points are. Oh, come on, dude. Come on, dude. You've trained for this. Team Go, you've trained your whole life. You dyed your hair blonde. You're really a ginger. Oh, and you missed a seagull. You missed the patented Team Go seagull kill move. Oh my god. You're failing. Sven here is failing. I don't know why his name is Sven, but he looks like a Sven. He's got his wife beater on and his, his shorts that are a little too tight around the groin, if you ask me. Boom. Ah. Oh. And Sven... Oh my god, I went over the seagull. Oh, but he did it on his head there. Oh, from behind. Yeah, it is easier to get it from behind. Ooh. Can you just leave your foot out like that? Oh my god, he did the worst of everyone. It's embarrassing. We're just going to erase that score. We're not even going to pay that much attention to it. Okay. Let's give this a try. Got a couple more teams to go through here. Actually, I feel like maybe th this is kind of just going on and on, being a little repetitive. Maybe actually... I'll tell you what, we'll watch Team 4 here, we'll go, and then we'll kind of skip to the the next event here, because if, if, oh yeah, we got a seagull, if we just go through and spend like 20 minutes on each game, we're never going to get through all six events, and I actually do want to try out all six to get a, a feel for this game, and this, this hacky sack thing, I could see, I could see practicing this and trying to get better at it, so yeah, yeah, okay, this one, this one, uh, not, not too bad. Doing a little better than the uh, the skateboarding one. Oh, come on, Seagull, Seagull! Ah, oh, damn it. Team four, you disappoint me. So the guy who made this uh, ended up creating DirectX. The guy who created the BMX game, which we'll be trying a little bit, he actually went on to create an educational software company, um, and he created some electronic whiz products or games. I, uh, I'm actually unfamiliar with electronic whiz. Oh, my God, we missed the Seagull again. Come on. Um, and apparently the guy who made the half pipe went on to create a game called Chips Challenge, which was a well-received little casual puzzle game um, that I'm actually not familiar with, but apparently it was a bit of a big deal. So there you go. It's interesting how like gaming teams of people, you know, like work together on these projects. Like some like California Games here was pretty well regarded when it came out. It was like a pretty well regarded game. Um, team four, okay. You know, I'm going to skip. I'm going to continue my, my thought in just a second. Whoa, 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 wait. Look, he's dancing. If you don't press the button, he just dances for a bit. Look at that. <laughs> he's, he's warming up. Oh, man, Team Boo Boo is going to kick some butt. Uh, or not. Funny to think about these guys, like, all arranging themselves to, like, compete in this foot bag event. Like, six guys who all look... Remarkably similar to one another. Like, okay, guys, we're going to meet at dawn. We're going to kick around a little sack of beans. And uh, last man standing wins. Whoever does it with the most flair is the most baddest ass guy in all of California. This is California Games. J-Clone wins again. Okay, we need a backstory here. As if, like... I so Team J was like the the competitors for a long time. Then some evil Lex Luthor type showed up and cloned them into Team J clone. And it's like trying to now we're competing with all these other teams with the real matches between J and J clone. And we're trying to prove who is better, the evil clones or the good clones. Well, I guess the good guys aren't clones; they're just the originals. But anyway, yeah. The the issue is. Can an evil Lex Luthor type get away with cloning and sweep the, the coveted California games, uh, an, an honored tradition since 1996, where uh, people from all walks of life gather to kick beanbags into the air and ride skateboards and half pipes and bring out their sweet BMX bikes to do cool little tricks. That is, that's what's at stake here, guys, the respect of California and ex-governor Arnold Schwarzenegger. So there we go, J-Clone clearly kicked everyone else's butt. It's it's interesting, you can't really play this game by yourself. Like, you just sort of get nine turns to try an event. Like, if I was playing by myself, 
no matter what, you know, every team is me, so I win every time. Kind of, kind of weird. Okay, well, let's, uh, uh, yeah, sure, that's correct. Let's go ahead and try our luck at surfing, because I did so well at Halfpipe. Clearly, I'm going to do well at this. Anyways, uh, as I was saying, um, you know, this game was well-renowned, or, or well-received when it came out. It was definitely considered a good game, put together by the team that had actually made Summer Games and Winter Games, which were also considered good games at the time and very well-received. This is probably the last good games game. So Summer Games, Winter Games, California Games, the Games series. After this game, the team that built it, they kind of disbanded. And they went in different directions, and so California Games 2 was made by a different crew, and I believe it's not really regarded as a very good game. Um, easy to talk over this blank screen. Maybe I should wait for a second for some gameplay here. Oh, there we go. Uh, oh, we. this is a garbled mess now. Whoa. Uh, are you kidding me? Like, the one event where it actually seems like I might be able to, like, do stuff, and it's all garbled. It's all garbledly goop. Oh, and I fell over the uh, the wave. Okay, hold on. I I'm going to try and fix this. Oh, man. All right, so I guess the version that I've got is uh, kind of screwed up. But, hey, you know what? Whatever. I can kind of surf on this one. It, it kind of sucks one of the few games where the controls I can actually kind of figure out. Can't really do anything about... Whee! Okay, I I'm not sure exactly how you're supposed to earn points. I'm just going to assume it's by surviving. Oh, pfft, and not doing that. Okay, here we go. Um, and actually, instead of going to playing this match like in the the team setting or whatever, I actually went to practice instead because I realized if you go to the like try one match, it makes you set up with like nine different players and like or seven or whatever it was. It it kind of is like a big waste of our time because we just want to try these events like a couple of times each. So anyway. Anyway, as I was saying about teams, uh, you know, it's interesting how, like, is Epix a good developer? Well, it really depends on who was working for Epix at the time, because after the team that made the all these games, the game series of games, <laughs> that's interesting to say, but the team that, after the team that made that left, the, the you know California Games Two was not really regarded as as great a game. Oh, you can go back and forth. I see. We oh, he just dove off into the sunset. Hey, but we got some points! Interesting. Okay, so I guess we're supposed to, like, surf around, and then eventually... I, I, I don't know what we're supposed to do. Uh, I, I thought I knew. I thought we were just supposed to survive, but I guess we're supposed to, like, dive off into the sunset here? Like that? Or, oh, wait. It's kind of... Maybe this is kind of like a half-pipe thing. And then, I, if I can, I'm supposed to, like, land back in the water. Okay, anyway, I'm, I'm going to try and figure this out while I talk over it. But the team's guys, after they, uh, after they all left, or the game's guys, after they all left, you know, is Epic still a good developer? Well, it was still good for some things, but not necessarily other things. It's kind of this interesting attitude of humans to, like, really get involved and, like, interested in a team um, over the individuals. So, like, the people who made the games games, they were really talented programmers. They went off to, like, some pretty cool stuff afterwards. But nobody... People don't follow the individual programmers as much as they follow a team. And so, kind of, you know, maybe I'm not making a lot of sense. Think of it like this. Like, when people are fans of sports teams, they're like, oh, I'm a fan of Houston or Toronto or wherever they're a fan of. Oops, didn't even see my score there. But, like... Why are you a fan of a city? Shouldn't you be a fan of individual players? Because the players that are on certain teams will vary and will change. And if your favorite player from Toronto gets transferred to Houston, are you now a Houston fan or you're a fan of Toronto? And like if every t team member from Toronto was transferred away, would you still be a fan of Toronto? Like people tend to have loyalties to companies or teams or organizations, less so to the individuals. I I've always thought like, you should have individual athletes that you're fans of, and whoever they happen to be playing for, that is who you should be a fan of. So that's kind of my mentality. Um, it does not seem to be the popular mentality. A lot of people don't think that way. But it's interesting when you think about game companies as just teams of programmers, and you realize that some of your favorite games 
were made by very specific people. Our score is going up slowly. Like that one guy on the left, he's like, thumbs up, dude, that was awesome. Oh wait, is that me? Maybe that's supposed to be me. Okay. Um, I feel like we're, we've, we're getting a hang of, of surfing. My guy's, his, his whole strategy for surfing is just to get out there, have a bit of fun, and flop into the water eventually. Like, I, I, I don't really have a, uh, a strategy here. And actually, considering that this game mode's kind of messed up, maybe we should actually just move on here. So how do I quit? The challenge in these Amiga games is finding out what buttons do what. And I have no idea. I, I, I guess it's kind of like Purgatory. Once you start practicing, there's literally no way out. You're just, you're in it for the long haul. Um, no, seriously, how, how, how do you quit this? Okay, so I learned my lesson from trying to do practice because I had no idea how to actually quit the stupid event. So we're gonna go to compete in one event again and we're gonna have to remake all our teams. Okay, I couldn't remember everyone's name, so this is what I came up with. J-Clone, Boo Boo, Team 4, Marcus, Team Playa, ooh, and 8-Boys. What does it really matter? <laughs> gonna give skating a try. And uh, let's see how this goes. Alrighty there, folks. So I was trying to get this playthrough done entirely on the Amiga, but, uh, you know... The, the the way that the game was was messed up on the surfing, it was just messed up uh, on all subsequent games. So let me take a very quick look at surfing again, just to see what it looks like if it wasn't... Oh, I just straight up died. Okay, here we go. So this is what the surfing would have looked like if it hadn't been all kind of screwed up there. And I guess the Amiga game that I've got, it, uh, it is... Uh, woo! A little messed up there. Okay, so I, I still don't quite know what to do, but at least the graphics look a little better. Can we do our little dive off into the horizon? Yeehaw! Wee! <laughs> okay, and I got an abysmal score. And we do not want to practice again. Ah, easy! When you can actually see what you're doing, easy. So this is the NES version. I decided to finish off California games here because another problem is it was the Amiga has insanely a lot of long load times and yes the graphics are better but hey you know for what you're getting for the uh okay I, I I'm like just twirling around there we go okay oh and she took a face plant okay here we go here we go here we go <laughs> just face planting okay there there is a jump button oh face planting again yeah, here we go. I, I I totally got this. There's like beach balls, cracks. Ugh. She's she's just gonna come home from like uh, this little skating adventure, and her whole face is just gonna be bloody, and her like parents are gonna be like, "Oh my God, Cynthia, what happened to you today? Nothing, Mom. I was just skating on the boardwalk. A beach ball literally slammed into the back of my head at one point. I think I lost a lot of blood. Passed out repeatedly." I imagine like a crowd of onlookers are like looking at Cynthia here, like, "Oh my God, this girl just keeps going." Like, oh god, this is like, this could be a series of fail videos. You could you could cut up any of these and send it to Fail Army, and this would be like, a thing. Oh god. Who's leaving like banana peels and like, bouncing balls, trash all over the boardwalk? Oh my god. How am I so bad at this? <laughs> Even on a console with, with much simpler controls. I, I clearly am, am not that good at it still. Wee, 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 maybe we could just like, do this for show. Oh. Okay. I guess you can take your time. Oh god, even going slow she sucks. Or she sucks. I should say I suck. Anyway, okay, so uh, playing this on the NES, I, this is a game that was obviously wi widely ported because I, you know, I even, I have the option of playing it on the NES. Oh, there we go. We got past that hard part. I did actually want to play this on the Amstrad CPC as the second system that I tried this out on. But you know what? I couldn't get the Amstrad to work. I'll be honest, like I can barely usually get Amiga and Commodore games to work. So it's usually a success for me if those, oh God, work. I got pretty far that time. Okay, well, we'll try this just a little bit more. But you know, whatever, playing this on the, the NES, you, you get to see the difference between the home computer and the home console version. I mean, obviously the computer versions were a little better, although the DOS versions usually were not necessarily much better than the uh, NES. It was usually like the Amiga and the Commodore that actually were like surprisingly competitive with uh, with the NES, which I guess is no surprise to any, uh, any oh God, any, any Commodore fans out there. Okay, we should probably uh, 
check out the next event here. I feel like this video is getting very long, although there's been a lot of loading times that I'm going to definitely have to cut out of this. But, oh, Jesus. <laughs> no, we don't want to practice this anymore. Okay, let's just check out these last two. BMX and Flying Disc, and then we'll see what we think of this game. Here we go. It's, it's kind of similar. These games all feel like fairly similar to each other. Oh, God, he flew off the bike in style. I mean, they vary in terms of whether they give you second chances and stuff, but a lot of it is just sort of go in one direction and, uh, you know, try not to fall off. I did appreciate Winter Games, how there was like a snowball event. That was kind of fun. And like the downhill skiing, there's a little more variety there. These summer games... Um, they're, or not, this isn't Summer Games, this is California Games. These California Games, they're, they're, like, decent. It'd be, like, a decent addition, I suppose, but, okay. Uh, pfft. It just starts me, like, like, how am I supposed to get out of that? I'm just, <laughs> okay, if you go too far into that, you're literally just dead. Okay, come on, come on. No! Ugh, Okay. Clearly, I don't know what I'm doing enough in these games, or, or these games require a lot more practice, because... Oh, God. Because they're, they're surprisingly hard. These games games are interesting because you can totally play every single event. It's not like a normal video game where you kind of have to unlock certain levels. You can just literally try all the events right off the bat. I feel like, though, unless you really enjoy one or two of these... You may be actually kind of disappointed with the game, because at least a game like Mario, where if you can't get past the first level, you can't see the other levels, there's some mystery that maybe they'll be better. So if like you had to pass the half pipe before you could get to the surfing, um, it would suck for me, because you guys wouldn't be seeing anything but half pipe. But at least there would be some mystery in the game, as opposed to like just being able to practice. It's nice because you can see all the events, but if you realize you don't like it, them, you might realize you don't like this game. <laughs> so. Alright, let's give this last one a try. Then we can go ahead and wrap up here. Ooh, interesting. Uh, that, that absolutely failed. Okay. Press A to start, gotcha. There we go, boom! I was in the green both times there, look at this! Okay, this is one event where I actually kinda like it. Holy crap, look at it go! Oh, 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 oh! Oh, whoops, I didn't... <laughs> <laughs> oh, you actually have to catch it. We're playing Frisbee. Wait, this is called Flying Disc. This is literally just playing Frisbee with your friend in the park. Okay, perfect throw. So you got, see, I'm pressing left and right, and you can see the guy at the top is moving left and right now. We're going to try and catch this. Oh, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Catch it, catch it, catch it, catch it. What are you talking about? It was, it literally slid right through your hands. Okay, we got to be able to catch this at least once. I like how they, like, turn playing Frisbee in the park into, like, an Olympic-style event. Okay. S starting to come down. Starting to come down. Yes, 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 yes. Catch it, catch it. Yeah! Okay, this is one where I kind of like it. You can, like, practice the speed and angle, and then you gotta catch it. I like this. You know what? Th catching and playing Frisbee with friends is, like, oddly satisfying. And actually, look at the, the background of the lake and the trees and stuff that are scrolling around there. Oh my god! Ah! <laughs> that was hilarious. Like, okay, why don't I throw the frisbee? Honestly, the background kind of looks like a 3D 8-bit world a little bit when we get to a lake here. And I actually really dig that. Look at that! It kind of looks like the world is, like, really, like, 3D. Isn't that kind of cool? I think that's kind of cool. Okay, come on. Let's try and... Catch it, catch it, catch it, catch it! <laughs> I, th that dive is so useless. Okay, let's just try, like, a different type of throw here. I'm, like, really having to run to it. You got it! Yeah. Okay, let's see if we can get it going, like, really far. Like, there to there. Oh, come on! <laughs> no one's gonna catch that. That would be like an epic fail. Like, if you watched a friend throw a frisbee and, like, that was their throw... Oh my god. Absolute failure. Okay, hold on. One anecdote is that in Toronto, on... Uh, there's, like, Center Island. It's, like, kind of like a beach island you can go to in the city. There is frisbee golf. 
and me and some friends went and did it once and you kind of bring your own frisbees and there's like 18 holes and you walk around the island and there's just like hey hey what why didn't you catch it you idiot frisbee golf it was kind of fun um but we each had a frisbee and about halfway through it was taking a long time so we invented speed frisbee golf and basically the way it works is you all simultaneously throw your frisbees and you all simultaneously run after them and catch them and keep picking them up and throwing them towards the goal Oh, I caught it. And it doesn't matter how many times you throw your frisbee, so you're not like, like normally with golf, it's like whoever gets it in like two throws wins. But with this, it was like it didn't matter how many times you threw, it was the fastest one there. So it actually made frisbee golf into, oh, here we're gonna dive! No, catch it! I think my guy just likes to dive just to take the fall. He's not trying to accomplish anything, but. Anyway, if there's frisbee golf where you guys live, frisbee golf basically, people just sort of set up these sort of like net buckets around and starting points and you just kind of gradually throw your frisbees towards the bucket catch it catch it catch it catch it you fool i i don't know how to catch when you dive there um so it, it doesn't really take much just you need like big fields and forests and beaches and stuff but if you if you're ever on a frisbee golf field and you're looking for something a little more active give it a try speed frisbee golf or i don't know we don't have a real name for it but it was actually like really fun catch it catch it Ugh. Okay, let's let's not practice again, this again. One thing I do want to try is give the half pipe one more shot now that I'm on an NES to see if I can do a little bit better. So let's try this. Okay. Okay. Oh, and he just fell right off. Oh, too soon for an aerial turn. Practice again. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Building up some speed, some momentum. Okay. Oh, come on. Oh. Wait, I think I think I have an idea. Oh. Pfft. Don't don't do that. Okay, hold on. This. Oh god, he slid off. Oh, right into the head. Can't turn a kickstand backwards. Oh. Wait. I think Oh my god. I actually got points. I got two points. Okay, so I guess you just hold left or right, depending on... I still don't quite get it. Oh my god. Okay, I think I could have done this on the Amiga, actually. Okay, so it is possible to figure these controls out. What I'm doing, basically, is just like... Oh god, sliding off the board. When you're kind of going up the ramp, if you just hold right for a second, you do a turnaround. Like that. And if, when you're going on the right, you hold left, so, okay. Anyway, it is possible. Uh, California games. This is a really hard one for me to weigh in on, so... L let me just give you my thoughts. You know what? Let me give it to you while we are... What are we doing? Hell, let's see what Footbag looks like on uh, the NES. Here we go. Let's see how hard this is. Oh, he boun he's bouncing it off his head! He's, he's literally just bouncing it off his head! Whoa! Oh my god, I, I was killing it, I was crushing it. Okay. Oh, he does a little hop! I don't even know how to do this stuff. Oh, I press up, down, oh my god. Okay, anyway, wait. Oh, I thought he had like on, uh, you know, those, sh those pants that had the butts cut out and that was his underwear, but I guess, I thought his shorts were black or something. Looks, it looks weird, his butt in this. Anyway, um, California Games, very interesting game. I, I wanted to... I, I was hoping it would be a better experience than Summer Games, and it kind of was. If you go back and watch my Summer Games video, which was, I think, like, the seventh game I ever played, I had a hell of a time playing it on the Commodore. I'm better at playing games on the Commodore these days. I can usually get them to work, but, uh, you know, this this game was still quite a challenge to play on the Amiga. I, I'm, I'm kind of torn with the idea that there's really no single-player mode. I mean, I guess practice is single player, but if you try to like actually play an event, it'll put like nine people in it. Um, actually, this this kind of sucks on the NES. I don't want to practice this anymore. Okay. Oh, no, 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 no! Get me out of this! There we go. So, yeah, Summer Games... Ah, I, I, I honestly don't know what to think of it. It's, it's an interesting game, and like back in the day, you could see how this would have been uh, considered pretty damn cool. These days, I don't know if the gameplay here is really enough to stand up. Like, just being totally honest with you, 
like as someone who didn't grow up with this game i mean it it's always different if you grow up with the game if you grow up with the game you're always gonna like it so you know that's fine but for someone who didn't grow up with it the gameplay is very challenging and the controls are very tough and it's a pretty unforgiving game i would say as a whole um i didn't necessarily find that i was getting super into any of these game modes you know so I don't know, like, what are the pros and cons of this game? I mean, the pro is, there's a few different game modes that you can go ahead and just check out. Why is the screen jittering around? I don't know. Um, but, you know, the cons, I mean, it's a dated game. Unlike something like Mario, where I feel like the, the gameplay is still fun, you know, even like 30 years later. This just feels like, I feel like a little handicap when I play this, honestly. The, the controls don't feel like I'm in control and it's just so easy to die that I don't know so yeah like is this a game you should play before you die in my honest opinion I think my answer is no I think this is a skippable one um, this isn't to take away from the legacy it may have you know had I mean this is the, the last good California games or, or winter games or summer games um, but yeah I mean I, I this game isn't for me and I feel like people who have never played this before this may not be a game that they enjoy. I don't know. They may. They may. But probably not. So, yeah. I, and I feel like this would have been my verdict if I had gotten Summer Games 2 working a lot more. With Summer Games 2, I was just super frustrated. I couldn't actually get it to work. But the little gameplay I was able to try... I mean, it reminded me of this. But the games are just so simple to, like... I don't know. There isn't much to say about it. So, yeah. Anyway, that's, that's my experience, my opinion... Uh, about it, you know, but do you guys agree? Do you disagree? You can always let me know down in the comments below. Always happy to hear from you and, and think about these games a bit more. Um, but either way, if you haven't been enjoying this video, give me a like, give me a subscribe. Uh, I'll be back in a couple days with a new video and a new game, and you don't want to miss out on that. And until next time, guys, it was fun going to California with you, and don't do anything, don't do anything too foolish, and uh, yeah, I'll see you soon. <laughs> Alright, guys, peace. Whoa, 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 wait, look, he's dancing. If you don't press the button, he just dances for a bit. Look at that. <laughs> he's, he's warming up. Oh man, Team Boo Boo's gonna kick some butt. Uh, or not.